onto your hands and knees. Spread your hands so your middle finger is in line with the middle of your shoulder. Grip with your tummy muscles and lift one arm and then lower and then the other arm and lower and then push your bottom back. So this is a strength exercise. Might not feel like a strength right now, but it will. And at the first instance, level one, you're measuring your alignment. Push your bum back. So as you climb up and lift your arm, you're looking for your fingers to reach in line with your shoulder and then press your bum back. So the strong line of energy is right the way down your arm and right the way down your back. Can you feel that? Can you sense it? And then again. Good. So what I'd like you to do is take your towel and place it on your back. I've been doing this and it has increased people's perception really well. So I'm going to do it with a scary water bottle just to add a bit of drama. I wouldn't do it with a water bottle with you because it will scare you if it falls off. <laughs> so I'm going to try it with that. And what will happen is your proprioception, your awareness will go through the roof, even with a towel. So you take your arm forward and lower and then the other arm. I can feel it moving. Very scary. <laughs> arm forward. And the other, and your awareness, even with a towel on your back, is really, really heightened. So now I'm going to try the challenging leg and opposite arm. So push the heel away, be straight, be strong. Good, well done. And then the transition, opposite arm and leg, be straight, be strong. Both arms are long and lower. And give me four more of those, straight and strong and lower and keep going straight and strong and lower i'm going to keep going no rest yet fingers to heel so i'm balancing a water bottle but it could be a towel on your back you don't want it to crash and fall and it will give you an idea of what's going on in your hips keeping your hips facing the floor. So give me one more and then you can rest and I'll keep going so you know where you're going next. You rest, push yourself back, heels to bum. And this is my next challenge to you. Opposite arm and leg, take the hands to the corner of your room, 45 degrees, and take the heel to the corner. And then come in line and lower. Do you think we can do that on the other side? Forward and back, pause, straight arms, lift out through the shoulder, take the hand to the corner of the room and the heel and then line up and lower. Happy with that? Good, so I can see you're doing it. Opposite arm and leg to the corner of the room, line up and lower. So this is full body challenge. Arms, shoulders, tummy, back, glutes, can't think of anything else, <laughs> and lower. Keep going, keep the consistency going. So your spine is holding you upright all day. Longevity, it's doing it all day. So what we're doing is giving the muscles longevity as well. Putting them under load for a longer time so that they support the bones of your spine. One last one with me. Good, keep your eyes on the floor. Let your head lift, some of you are dropping your head, I'm guessing. <laughs> Good, okay, remove the towel. Push your bottom back, release your wrists. So that was a full body exercise. I'd like to do it with your band. So take your band and lengthen it across the mat. 
Okay, as I say, if you haven't got a band, if you haven't had a physio appointment and they've given you a band, you can buy them off my website, delspilates.co.uk. So you're going to make the band long and put your knee on the end of the band. Okay, so the band is secure. Hold the band between your thumb and finger again. So what I do is that. Hold it like that and you're in charge. You decide how tense you want to make the band. On all fours, grip with your tummy, keep your body still, lift the arm and lower. Should we do it together? Well done, let's go. Lift, five and lower, four and lower. Stay with me, there's only five in total so you can do this. Two and one. Now extend the opposite leg, lift it, squeeze your bum. Keep your body still, lift the arm, five. Lift the arm, four. Stay with me, three, power through, good. Two and one, take a moment. Toes together, bum goes back. We're going to do just the arm to the diagonal. Let's do it. So the arm goes out to the diagonal. Let's do it together. Five. Breathe out, four. Keep your body still, three. Grip with your tummy, two. Opposite leg, you ready? Take it to a small diagonal and off you go. Lift the arm, hold the body still, five. Breathe out, four. This is core strength, three. This is keeping your body still using your abdominals and your glutes. Can we add an extra special one? And recover. Push your bum back, release the band from under that knee and place it under the other knee. Rotate the wrists, stretch your back and then hold the band between your thumb and fingers and come onto your hands and knees. Pull your tummy muscles in, redo your hair. <laughs> and then holding the band, we're ready to lift and lower. Just forward, go forward, one. Breathe out, forward, two. Breathe out, forward, three. We've only got five, we can do it. Four and five. Now opposite leg, push the heel away. You ready? Arm, lift, forward, one. Lift, forward, two. Keep your body still. Three, stay strong. Four, stay on your game. Stay with purpose, five. Take a moment, push your bum back. You haven't finished, you've got one last round. So climb up onto your hands and knees. Everything's working here, even that supporting arm. The arm now is gonna to go to the diagonal. You ready? Pull the tummy in. Arm to the diagonal, five. Nothing else, just the arm. Four. Breathe out, three. Stay strong, two. And one, opposite leg, fire it off. Take it to a small diagonal, hold yourself strong and still, arm to the side, five, diagonal. Lift, four, keep the head up, three. Breathe out, two, and last one, one. Good work. What do you need? Glass of water, take a moment, rotate the wrists, push back through your spine. And your option now is to lie down on your tummy. But before you lie down on your tummy, I want you to take your nice thick band over your pert bottom. Everyone that comes to Adele's Pilates has a pert bottom. So take your band over your bum. I'll give you an option in a minute. And take your hands, palms up, under the band so that your thumbs touch straight arms. So you can do it 
in a kneeling posture if you're not happy lying down or lie down on your tummy, towel underneath your forehead, band on your bum, hands under the band, thumbs tuck. So I'm going to do my best to project my tiny voice. <laughs> Keep your feet relaxed and your knees. Pull your tummy in and all you're going to do is pull on the band and drop. That's it. Pull on the band and drop. So I'm not even asking you for height. I'm just asking you to pull on the band. That's good. Well done. Stay with me. Pull. Release. So your forehead is going to be on your towel. All you're doing is kneeling. It's up to you. This is for the back of your arms. This is giving your heart the release. So if you're crowding all your chest by rotating your shoulder forward, then your heart can't function as well. If you're doing this move, rotating the shoulders out and back, you're giving your heart the space to breathe. So do it gently, but do it consistently. <laughs> Next level, raise your chest and lower. So raise your chest, not your chin. You're not jutting forward. Look down and lower. Squeeze your bum, tighten your tummy, pull the arms. Tighten and be strong and lower. Keep this going. It's not a big move, but it's an incredibly effective one. If you're doing it on your knees, leaning back and making sure you're gripping with your bum and your tummy. So your back feels your support. If you're lying on your tummy, there is a third level. Squeeze your bum like you've never squeezed it before and lift your legs also lower. Arms pull out, chest lifts and legs and lower. Breathe out with the effort, breathe in with the release. Roll the shoulders back, release to the floor. Keep going, open your shoulders. This is a great lifestyle exercise. We ignore the back of our body and it needs our support, it needs our muscle strength. Two more you're going to feel so long and elongated after this. So take a moment, let the band rest, bring the heels to your bum and move your feet slowly side to side to release the lower back. Great work. A small adaptation, land the feet. What we're going to do is lean down the side of our body and then lean down the other side. So what's happening is the rib, the lowest rib, is coming in contact with your hip. Okay, it's an exaggeration, but you know what I mean. So that's your level one, sliding. And level two, the band comes back into play. How exciting. Bands to the sky. Look over one shoulder, centre. Look over the other shoulder, centre. Keep going, shoulder. So the hips are still, your knees are still and are your feet and it's just the upper body that's turning. So you're looking over your shoulder and you can see your ankle. Can you do that? Can you see your ankle? Okay, final round. Squeeze your bum and lift your legs. Look over one shoulder, centre, other shoulder. Center, stay with me, stay focused, look over the shoulder. It's great shoulder work. It's fabulous arm toning work. It's great leg work. Give me two more and we'll finish. And one more, stay with it, stay with the tension in the band. Now you can let go, wow. Pose of a child. Rest and recover, great. Hands go forward, 
bum goes back. Lovely. Do a quick thigh stretch before we move on. So take both feet to one side of the room. Take your hand under your shoulder and feel your upright posture. Now lift the top leg so the shin, sorry, that's not the shin, the thigh, knee is in line with hip. Take your hand to your foot and let your thigh muscle breathe. So your hand is on the floor or your forearm is on the floor. Oh, feels good, doesn't it? Stretching that quadricep, front of thigh muscle, getting right up into the hip flexor to release all the way down the leg. Lovely. Pushing yourself back up onto your hand and take this foot, you're gonna love this, in front of the other foot. Good. Or, crazy talk, take the foot to the other side of the thigh. Da, da, da. So your foot might be here, and what you're gonna do is bring yourself up onto your fingertips, or your foot might be here. And then all I'd like you to do is turn. Turn and look to that side of the room. So you can bring the hand to the knee, wherever it is, and gently turn and give your spine length and then rotation. Oh, bum cheeks, need to say a little word about bum cheeks. Get them on the floor. Good, because they want to lift, but your job is to bring them down. Exquisite. So take both feet to the other side, hand underneath shoulder, and then the other hand find your ankle. There is a long, strong line where your thigh bone, knee to hip lines up, and you're gonna play and investigate. And bring your forearm to the floor and keep playing, keep investigating. Hip flexors. If we're sat down at a desk all day, get very tight. So feel the love, feel the stretch. Good. Now, sweep the foot forward so it goes in front of the other foot. Or lift the foot and take it to the other side of the knee. I know from experience, people will be swearing at me right now. You do you, okay? Ignore me, listen to your own hips. So a note about your bottom cheeks, bring them to the floor and then take this hand across and look to that wall. So you could be here, or you could be here. You do you, so you're looking for length and then rotation. Give you a bit more, a bit more length and a bit more rotation. This is what keeps us strong. This is what keeps us mobile and flexible. Pushing gently into the stretch. Okay, you're done. Release your legs. Find your band and put your band over your feet. Flex your feet, i.e. toes to the sky. Roll a little way back so your towel is ready. Straight arms, bend your elbows and climb up. Now tuck your elbows behind you and lift your heart to the sky. Straight arms, belly in, roll back. Look at your toes. Bend the elbows, take the elbows behind you and lift your heart. Straight arms, look at your toes, roll back. Climb up, tuck the elbows behind, oh, and open your chest. That's incredible. So look at your feet, C-shape the spine, and then look up at the sky and pull the elbows behind. So a lot of upper back, upper arm, back of arm work, and then abdominal work. Can you feel that? Can you feel the back of arm? Can you feel the back of shoulders? Good. Couple more, rolling back. Look at your toes, this is tummy. Look at your tummy muscles. Climb up, and then tuck the elbows back. Oh, I love that. It's like a morning yawn. Look at your toes, sit up, and take the elbows back and lift your chest. Great work, we're gonna lie down. 
So it could look like this. Rolling back, landing your head on your towel. Look at your toes and roll, big draw, big drum roll, roll up. Then push your elbows back. Not everybody's going to like that. Not everybody has that flexibility in their spine. And that's okay. We're all different. Look at your toes, roll up and then take the elbows back and lift your heart. Good, we're gonna do three more and you decide, you decide how low you go. Inhale at the bottom, exhale to start traveling. Give me full height and length with your inhale, pull the elbows back. Fabulous, two more, well done. Rolling back, inhale, rolling up, exhale, elbows back. So I, this is horrible to say, but I find this relatively easy. And the only reason being is because I've done it a lot. <laughs> Breathing. It's a skill that I've created through practice. And that is what Pilates is about. It's practice. That's it. Lie down, band on your feet, legs in the air, knees to chest, legs to sky. The more you do, twice a week, <laughs> the easier all this becomes, twice a week. <laughs> Knees to chest. More if you can. More Pilates if you can. Pilates, good health, good posture. So I've started easy. Legs to sky, knees to chest. No tension in the arms, nice and easy with the band. And then elbows on the floor. That puts more tension in the band, more resistance for the arms. Starts to feel exhilarating through the legs, power. And your next challenge is to lower the legs. And what will happen is your back will arch. That's what mere mortals do, okay? They arch their back. You're not a mortal. <laughs> you are a Pilates professional. So what you do is you grip with your tummy. You do not let your back arch. It will be a natural curve, but it will not arch. You're in control. You have the body awareness. You have the power. Okay, we're ready to drop the elbows into the floor and take the elbows behind you and lift your shoulders. Let go. If I keep my elbows by my waist, my neck is going to hurt. If I take my elbows behind me, I've got more support. See what you can do. Elbows behind, legs lower. It needs movement. It needs energy. Good. And you've got it. Energy. Now, when you lift, hold. Circle one. Circle two. Interesting. Now circle the other way. One. Circle two. Let go. Oh. Again. Okay. Let's do it again. Thanks for that. Circle one. Good. Circle two. Good height. Now circle the other way. One. Circle two. And recover. We're going to do two more. Together. Up on your elbows. Circle one. Circle two. Good, good stamina. Circle the other way, one. Circle two, and let go. And last one. Up onto your elbows, circle one. Lift your heart. That's what we've been talking about all morning. Lift your chest. Circle the other way, one. Circle two. Now lie down and place the band between your knees and give your wrists some love. Siri not available. You are not connected to the internet. Forgive me. That's not voices <laughs> of um, <laughs> extraterrestrials. It's my um. What is it? It's my um Alexa. Don't say a name. Don't say a name. So, last exercise. You're gonna love it. I'm rocking 
to build the momentum to sit up. Straight legs and high chest. We did this last week for those of you that were with me. This is the V-sit. So you need a long spine and a high chest to hold the V-sit. Then bend the knees and roll back. So a high chest. It's like the brakes for the legs. And then roll back and lift up. Good, that, if you can do that, that is incredible. That is testament to the practice that you do with Pilates. Well done. Incredible, good work, really good. That is core strength, that's stability. So, circle the legs. One, yeah, two, all oh, that's challenging. Now circle the other way, one, and two, roll back, we'll do it one last time and we'll call it a day. Circle one, circle two, it's a tiny circle. Now circle the other way, one, and two. Ping the band away and take a seat. You did a great job. Well done, sit comfortably, sit with a long spine. Ah, release your shoulders and breathe in, lift your arms all the way to the sky. Give yourself an enormous well done and bring it down into your heart. Believe it. Thank you. Incredible work this morning.